FTP day. The old favourite. We all love it. Uh, so we just started the FL Green Hill Road in Adelaide. Uh, it was a good 20, 25 minute climb. I was just trying to hold as much power as I could for 20 minutes, take 95% of that, and that's my FTP, which is roughly the power you can sustain for an hour. This is a bit more sustainable than doing like a full hour effort. Um, so I weighed myself this morning, I was about 60.1 60 or something, so pretty much I'll just take it as 60, I can't really bother to do the point one or whatever, just because, well, number one, it makes my water speaker a little less, uh, but number two, it's just like, it's it, it's like the accuracy of the power meter and everything else just means it's sort of irrelevant. So you can see my heart rate's already outrageously high. It was really weird, this effort, my heart rate was just so high the whole time, uh, and I felt, my lungs felt just like quite bad. Um, but I'm, I'm going too hard here already, we're up to like 350 watts, um, and I, I so, I'm trying to think. The last FTP test I did was in about October, and I just did two times eight minute tests. Um, so it was eight, two eight minute tests with like a ten minute recovery or a five minute recovery. One of those two, I can't remember. Um, and you take ninety percent of that, and that's your FTP. Um, so like the average of the two eight minute tests, uh, and I got three hundred watts basically. Um, but the thing is that test definitely favors me because I, I'm normally quite good on anaerobic efforts, but not as good on um, longer efforts. Um, so this is my first 20 minute test since July, I think it would have been. Um, I did a TT up called Aspin uh, in France. Uh, that was at altitude and I'd had a heavy week and I did 303 watts. So I think I probably was fitter then. I haven't really been doing too much training recently. Like I had a big week but the week before Tour Down Under and then since then I've just been like cruising around, not really doing anything. So I'm not really surprised my power hasn't been, like yeah, isn't going crazy. So you can see at the moment we are we are flying up. I really like doing sort of efforts like this, like doing 20Ks an hour on a 7% gradient. It's, it's quite enjoyable. Um, very painful, but the first 10 minutes of these efforts, they hurt, but they're, they're like a nice hurt. Like, you know you're going hard, and like you know you can hold this, and it's not too painful. But the last 10 minutes are always absolutely disgusting, um, and the last 5 minutes especially. But this, I just paced it so badly. So I did 326 watts for the first 10 minutes, and like 300 watts for the second second 10 minutes. So I got an average of like 314, or maybe it was like 302 watts for the ten minutes, second 10 minutes. But anyway, basically I massively overcooked it, because I felt so good. Like here, I was like, alright, here we go, here we go, I'm going to feel good. But my lungs just like, they were really weird, it's hard to describe. I, like, I felt like I couldn't take deep breaths, it just felt super like constricted. But maybe it's just because I was actually pushing really hard, and I didn't realize. You can see we got up to 400 watts there, and that's that's just not sustainable. Like, I was just got too excited, and um... I, I like I knew this the, because the, the part, bottom part of the climb, you know, the bit we just went up, which got to like ten percent. That bit is the easiest to sort of smash up, smash up, and just like not constrain the power. There was a guy called Giles who was following me. It was his first, no, maybe second or third ride in Adelaide. Um, he was working in Kangaroo Island, but he's just come over for Adelaide for a week. So it was nice riding with him. Nice to have some other people. I like I literally messaged like everyone I knew. I was like, yeah, anyone out for a TT? Like Harley, Dan, um, a couple of people I live with, like Christian, who's I think been in the been in the vids before but the, all of them were like nah I can't really be bothered or like I think Harley was pe pacing Tory for a TT so he couldn't be bothered so I, I didn't really I, I didn't have that many people I really wanted like a big group to sort of all like push me and you know you always do better when you've got a group going but anyway it was basically a solo TT as you can see um, and we're skipping ahead to about 14 minutes now because the rest of it was just like it was hard but not too hard but you can see the what's already sliding and um, I was like, trying to explain it before but it's like at the end of the effort, it's always really hard to keep consistent power. Like, you have these surges where you go up to 350 and then you get back down to 270, and it's really hard just to hold that 320 watts, which is what I was aiming for. Because the most depressing thing is I have, like, the lap power, so you can just see it going from, like, 338, 335, 330, and I'm like, oh, five and a half, that'd be insane if I held that. Then 325, you're like, 5.4, that's still good. 318, you're like, oh, that's 5.3, oh, here we go. And I realised I need to do 317 to keep my FTP the same. Um, but unfortunately, yeah, we couldn't do that. Um, the last the last five minutes, I just capitulated to about 290 watts or something. I, I was just dying. I, the thing is, I know I gave it a proper effort. You can see my heart was like 199. My max is only 201. So you can see I'm I'm really hurting now and like really going on it. My cadence was incredibly low on this one, um, actually. Like our average cadence was only 80. Normally, I, I'm a lot higher, more like 90, 95. But I think it's just like, oh, this, my leg, lungs felt bad. So I was trying to sort of get out the saddle a bit more. You'll see like and sort of grind a bit more just to try and calm down like my heart and everything it just didn't work basically um but you can see here this is when i knew i was like all right i'm really struggling here and the last five is normally not too bad because you're like excited that you're coming towards the end of the effort you're excited that like you're finally going to get your results it's coming to the end but i just 
wasn't, I was just dying. And like at 15 minutes, I almost gave up. I was like, this hurts so much. But I realized I couldn't. Because like, the good thing with my FTP test, I did put a lot of pressure on myself. I was like, I sort of told everyone what I was going to try to do. I told everyone what power I was going to hold. So then like people hold you into account. I'm like, what did you do? And if I said, oh, I gave up after, after 15 minutes, people would be like, oh, well, that's, that's useless. You can't do that. So by having a bit of pressure, like I always, obviously you always do well in races because there's sort of a pressure, you've got a number on the back. Like especially on uphill TTs, if, as soon as you've got that number on, you can really go and you've got all that adrenaline cut, like pump me through your veins and everything and you're all, you're all feeling good. Um, but unfortunately, that didn't help me too much today. Like I still set a power BB of um, 11 watts, but it's not it's not where I want to be. So my goal for the year is 340 watts. Um, so I, I'm, all, I'm quite far off that. I'm 26 watts off. Uh, I'm not sure if it's achievable this year. I don't know. We'll see. Um, that is the goal. Um, 20, 26 watts in a year is like, it's quite tough. Um, but I, um, it could be possible. I haven't trained, like this month, I haven't, like in January, like I might have done a lot of kilometers, but I haven't done a lot of intensity and a lot of like specified intensity. So these next two months when I'm in Adelaide still, so I'm leaving on March the 15th, so it's like a month and a half or whatever, I'm really going to try and concentrate just on the effort and just doing my efforts properly and not like messing around, um, and like just actually really concentrating. Like when I do the effort, make sure I do every effort to the full. Don't mess around and just like really concentrate and just try and hurt myself as much as possible. Because the more you get used to hurting yourself, just the better it is. You can see how I'm like weaving across the road. I am absolutely cooked. Like I felt so bad. I still feel pretty bad. Like these efforts, you, like you get, the more you do them, the better you've done. I've probably only done maybe six full gas 20 minute efforts, which isn't that many. Um, but you just get better at like really hurting yourself, knowing what the, the pain's going to feel like and knowing how to really just like dig in when it gets tough. And I feel like that's that's something that is quite important to practice because if you are going to do a 20 minute full gas TT, the first time you do it, it might be like your fitness is the same as you do it in a month's time, but you'll just get the second time you do it, you'll just get better at practicing it and you'll just know exactly what how it hurts. So I knew like the first five minutes should not be that painful. It, it should hurt, but like, you know, this is a bit uncomfortable, but it shouldn't be that bad. And then the second five minutes, there's Harley and there's Tori. They've just done a Norton's TT. Um, but then the second, the second five minutes should be like, right, that's when you get down to business. That's when it's like, it starts to, you feel the effort. Then the 10 to 15 is where it's really dying and you just want to give up. And then the last five minutes is just like, you suddenly, then there's like five minutes to go, you can sort of switch your mind and be like, right, this is it, come on, and really concentrate on that last five minutes and then hold it. Problem was, I, I was like, oh, this is so easy for the first five, ten minutes, and I just destroyed myself. But in retrospect, maybe I could have held better power now, like I'm really fading. Um, and maybe if I was just got my gear cadence and really concentrated on my pedal, pedal stroke, um, I could have done better power because I feel like I wasn't concentrating on my pedaling enough. I was concentrating more on the effort instead of like I should just have my head up the road and just gone and just put it in the put it in the gear where I can just spin at 85, 90 cadence and just hold it. But instead, I'm like at 70 cadence and just I don't know what is going on here. I'm trying to get out of the saddle. I've got like a minute to go. I remember thinking here, I was like, oh my god, I'm dying. And I had this idea at one point. I was like, oh yeah, maybe maybe I might go to the top and like actually get a good segment time, but I just could not be bothered because the wind wasn't great anyway, so I didn't have done an effort before with the Team Sky um, all the way to the top, and I'd only done 270 watts, and my times were so much better than what I'd well, mainly because I was drafting uh, Divin, but also just because of the wind. Because you see, we're into the last minute. With the FTP test, if you're surging massively in the last minute, you've basically massively underpaced it, and I used to do that a lot because you don't want to hurt yourself that much in the last minute. You're like, oh, I can go because I've only got one minute to go, but... You shouldn't be able to pick up the pace on the last minute. Um, you really just want to try and do it as steady as possible, which is why I'm annoyed because I, I sort of overpaced it. But I'm not sure how many watts, maybe five, ten watts, maybe I, I, I could have gained if I paced it more steadily. I, I just don't know. Um, but, you know, that's that's life. Um, it's probably better to do what I did than underpace it and then realise you have loads left in the tank with like five minutes to go because then it, it sort of skews the power quite a lot. Or well, mine, it was more like... <laughs> this is just a realisation that you're not as fit. Like, obviously, I don't know why I thought I could hold 330 watts for 20 minutes. Like, I wasn't suddenly just going to gain that much fitness. Like, come on. Uh, be a bit more realistic. But anyway. So that's a bit of a shame. But I really do enjoy doing these efforts. It's so much fun just flying up a climb. Like, halfway up, when it was sort of like 5-6%, we were going like 20-25Ks an hour. I was like, oh yeah, this is nice. This is good fun. You can see how I've blown when we're doing 0 watts. Um... <laughs> I literally came to a stop at the side of the road. I was just completely dead. Hands over, just like, meh. Like, yeah, that hurt a lot. Um, really, really did. Um, but we love it. Like, 
thing is I always have questions, could I do another 20 minute effort afterwards? And on that one I couldn't, which I think is good. If you think you can ever do any more effort, then you haven't gone hard enough. Even if in like 10 minutes time you're like, yeah, I think I could do another effort, then you, you haven't gone hard enough. You should be like, literally like, you don't want to do anything over 200 watts for the rest of the ride. And I, I felt like that, so I was, ha I was happy that I emptied the tank. But with the FTP test, you, you, the number is just the number. You just want to be happy in your execution of it, so you paced it right, and you want to be happy that you emptied the tank and just gave it everything. If you execute it properly, so you paced it properly, and then you, you just empty the tank, you can't be unhappy, because that is your fitness. It's when you haven't paced it right, or you haven't gone full gas, that's when I get annoyed, and that's when I think other people get annoyed, because you feel like you know you could give more. But if you've given everything which I had, then you can't be unhappy, you just look at the number, that's where you are now, and then reassess in like six, eight weeks time, and see if you've got better after doing some training. So cheers for watching. Um, my overall result was like 5.23, 5.25 watts per kilo for 20 minutes, which gives me an FTP of like 299 watts basically, so I'll just probably keep it the same just because it's a bit easier for the maths. Um, but yeah, cheers for watching, and I'll see you in the next vid.